Now I'll switch back to the model mode. You can see the appearance is carried across. Now I'm actually just going to uh, apply this another get the appearance. Just force this one back to the just original. Doesn't make that much difference. It's just more for habit. It's just quite a bit easier to sort of look at your image this way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut around the edges, put a nice sort of curved bevel over them. So, there's a few ways we can do this. Now, I'm going to do this sort of in a number of different steps just for the sake of easy, keep making it easier. I'm going to use a fill the fillet tool and if I hold down shift when I'm selecting the different edges, it lets me select them. You can see it actually can also pick up the ones below. So I've selected all eight edges. And now I need to set a radius. So I'm just going to give it a three millimeter radius. And you can choose what sort of corner type you want. I'm going to have a rolling ball. And now I've actually got Zoom in. Nice curved edges. And you can see that on the different dimensions. What's quite nice is when you actually select and highlight one of the sections, it's highlighted on the different viewpoints. So, so there you can see that it's that one. Now, we've got our side bevels. What I'm going to do is actually cut a chunk out of the middle. So we're still working on the same sketch. So we're keeping that out or component. So what I'm going to do is draw another rectangle. Same way, click a point to start. I'm not going to worry too much about getting everything exactly positioned. Now, with this one, you've got to try and make sure that it's on the same axes as the top. Of the basic phone, so you can see here it's actually right on the edge, top edge. So I'm actually going to cut that down into it. Now, if your object is not on the right plane, what you can do is right click, go to move and copy. We've got the basic settings. You want to change it from bodies to sketch up objects. You choose whichever ob object you're actually working on, and you've got your options for moving. So I'm actually going to, so I could use the translate, component XYZ, and then like, pick the edge and whichever direction I want to move that in. And I can go and modify and manipulate that. But mine's in the right place, so I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to select the main front and push it down to make a cut with the screen. So now what we're going to do, same as before, press pull. This time we're going to go down. And I'm only going to go minus two millimeters. I could have actually just edited that on the extrude properties. So now, if you actually look at the model, you can see we've got a nice cut actually into it. And this is where we're actually going to place our glass, which will be coming up in the next video.